How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Donahue here again. This time we're going to take a look at practice problems for 19.4 entropy changes and chemical reactions. Objectives being qualitatively and quantitatively determine the change in entropy for chemical reactions. So we got this equation. The change in entropy is equal to the sum of the entropy of the products minus the sum of the entropy of the reactants. So you go, hey, what was the entropy for all the products? What was the entropy for all the reactants? The difference is our delta S. All right, number one, for which option is delta S positive? So this is some qualitative analysis. We aren't going to deal with the numbers. We're just going to look at it and try to figure it out. So here we have a carbon dioxide gas becoming carbon dioxide solid. Well, going from a gas to solid is a negative change in entropy, right? Gas is high entropy, moving around, spread out, solids packed together, not flowing past each other at all. So entropy went down. What about 2NO2 gas becoming, ooh, N2O4 gas? So we start with two different things, and then we end up with just one type of thing. Well, that is a decrease in entropy. It's becoming more organized. There's only one kind of thing, as opposed to a mixture of two things. All right here, we got two mercury liquids reacting with an oxygen gas, giving me two mercury solids, ooh. So we have a liquid and a gas, and it gives us one kind of thing as a solid. That is a definite decrease in entropy. All right, we got 2H2 gas reacting with one O2 gas, giving me two H2O gases. So there's a couple of things going on here. We start with three gases total, and we end up with two gases. We also end up with a mixture of two different things, and we end up with one kind of thing. Uh, so this is a definite decrease in entropy. And then if we take a look here, we got barium fluoride solid and then arrow barium ion in solution. So now we know it's mixed with water and the particles have broken up and spread out and the fluoride ion in water. So this is definitely a positive change in entropy. It's more chaotic being mixed together with another substance and the solid breaks up and breaks apart into different ions. So that's a definite increase in entropy, more chaotic. Number two, which of the following has the highest entropy? So the only difference here is, well, let's see. We got a gas, liquid, solid, gas, gas. So we could probably eliminate right off the bat the, uh, the liquid and the solid, right? Let's look at just the gases because I know they have the highest entropy in terms of the phase. So now the difference is HI, HCl, or HBr. Well, what's different about them? Typically, the heavier the molecule, the higher the entropy. So which one of these has the highest entropy? It's going to be the heaviest one, which is going to be iodine. All right. Number three, what is the value of the delta S naught for the catalytic hydrogenation of acetylene to ethane given the following information? So here we got the chemical equation and they give us the, uh, the standard molar entropies in joules per mole Kelvin. So with this, you go, all right, well, let me look at my reactants and my products. C2H2 gas has an entropy of 200.9. Uh, I'm not gonna write the units because I'm lazy, but it's joules per mole Kelvin, right? The units right there. And then there's two H2s. So I look, what is the H2 gas? Well, it's 130.7. And then we look at the products as well. C2H6 gas is well, there's one of them and it's 229.2. So if I add these together, I know my reactants started as uh, 462.3 joules per mole Kelvin, and we ended up with a products of only having 229.2. And the reason I do this is because I want to see the numbers, so I know that this is a decrease. I started at a bigger number, I ended up at a smaller number, so I know my change is going to be a negative value. Uh, because sometimes I mess up. I Instead of doing what should be 229.2 minus 462.3 to give me the negative 233.1 joules per mole Kelvin, products minus reactants, sometimes I goof and I mix them up. So to avoid messing that sign up, I look at it. I go, I started up 462, I ended up at 229, so I know I had to have gone down. So that's how I do it. That should be your answer. Number four, the delta S is negative for which of the following reactions? So let's take a look. I got a liquid 
to a gas, that's going to be a positive change in entropy. I start with two moles of gas, I end up with, uh, here's two moles of gas and another different kind of gas. Well, hey, I started with one pure substance and I ended up with a mixture of two different substances and more moles of gas. That's a positive change in entropy. NaCl aqueous splitting up into Na plus aqueous and Cl minus aqueous. So they're splitting apart. They're becoming two separate things. That's a positive change in entropy. Here I start with C6H12O6, some glucose, but as a solid. And then it breaks down into six carbon solids, six hydrogen gases, and then three oxygen gases. So I started with one pure substance and I broke it up into a mixture of solids and gases. That's a positive change in entropy. So hopefully this last one. Let's see, I started with a compound that's aqueous, another compound that's aqueous, and I end up with a solid compound and another aqueous compound. So this, we ended up with a solid and we didn't have a solid before, so that is a negative change in entropy. There we go. Number five, the delta S for, is positive for which of the following reactions? So same process. I start with a gas and five moles of gas, and I end up with, hey, still two different kinds of gas, but I have a total of seven moles of gas. So I started with six, and I ended up with seven moles of gas. So this is gonna be a positive change in entropy. It's messier having more things. Well, let's check the rest of them. I start with C2H4 gas, H2 gas, I end up with one kind of gas. That's definitely less messy. Uh, 2N2 gas plus 3H2 gas, I end up with 2NH3 gas. So we started with a mixture of five gases, two different kinds, and I end up with just one kind of gas. Uh, so that's definitely a decrease in entropy. MgCl solid plus chlorine gas, and I end up with just one kind of product, and it's a solid, so that's definitely a decrease in entropy. I start with two N2 ga NO gases and one O2 gas, end up with one kind of thing in the gas phase. I also started with three moles of gas, and I ended up with two moles of gas, so this is definitely a decrease in en entropy. So best answer, definitely A. Six. What is the value of the delta S and all for the decomposition of POCl3 into its constituent elements given by this balanced chemical equation? So again, you just go, hey, I got two POCl3, so let me look up what their entropy is. It's 325.5 joules per mole Kelvin. And then on the product side, I got P2 gas, so I just look it up, it's 218.1. I got O2 gas, I looked that up, it's 205.2. And I have three moles of Cl2, so three times whatever Cl2 was, 223.1. I do the math, the sum of all of this is 1092.6. And then this on this side is 651. So I went from 651 to 1092. So if I take the difference, uh, 1092.6 minus 651, I end up with a positive 441.6 joules per mole Kelvin. Now, again, I always go, hey, uh, I look at this number, I ended up with a bigger number, so I know my change has to be positive. All right, number seven, what is the value of delta S null for the formation of phosphorus trichloride from its constituent elements given in this equation right there? So same process. I look up P2, it's 218.1 joules per mole Kelvin, plus, well, there's three Cl2s, so three times 223.1. And then I look at the products, I got two PCl3s at 311.78 each. So the sum of my reactants, is 887.4 and then my products is a total of 623.84 so again i start at a bigger number i end up at a smaller number so i know my change is going to be a negative um, so what is the difference between those two numbers 887.4 and 623.84 i end up with oh, i'm sorry six i look this is not eight four it's it's 5, 6. My apologies. The difference is negative 263.84. There you go. Joules per mole Kelvin. All right. I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you in class. Okay, bye.